Hi guys, let me show you how to make a very realistic texture on a blurry or plastic skin to make the face look way more natural and beautiful. Stay with me and I'll show you. I picked this image for the tutorial and if we zoom a little bit, we will see that the skin is a little bit plastic and let's add some texture on it. First, let's create a new document. Resolution have to be 1 to 8 by 1 to 8. That's because we will make a um, pattern that the Photoshop makes that patterns in this resolution 1 to 8 by 1 to 8. RGB color and it's very important to choose 8 bit because we will use a filter that works only in 8 bits. For a background, click custom and let's make the background absolutely gray. For that, on the HSB sections, just type 0, 0, 50%, click OK. Let's create a document. Now we have this little square and let's add some texture on it. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery and in the Texture folder, click Texturizer. Now on the Texture drop down menu, choose Sandstone. The scaling depends on the resolution of the image. We work with Full HD image and 100, it's nice. Relief have to be between 5 and 10, I will work with 8. And the whites depends on the image. In our case, our whites becomes from top left corner. That's why we will choose top left. Click OK. Now we have the texture. Let's define a pattern from this document. Go to Edit, Define Pattern and name it Skin. Texture, top, left. Click OK. Now let's turn back to the main image. And let's create a new pattern layer. From drop down menu, we have just saved pattern. Click OK. And let's change the blend mode to overlay or soft white. In our case, the soft white looks way more nice. Let's zoom a little bit. Good. Let's rasterize this layer. Now the next step is to make the texture layer follow the curves of the face. To do that, go to Filter, Liquify, check the Show Backdrop, Mod Behind and Opacity 50 is good. Let's start with the Forward War 2 and let's make the texture for all the curves of the face. Okay. I'll pick the bow tool for the nose and the cheeks. We'll pick the picker tool for the eyes. And I think it's enough. Click OK. Now our texture layer just follow the curves of the face. As we know, the skin texture is less visible on the darker and whiter areas of the face. That's why let's double click on the texture layer on the right of the layer and on the blending option tab. Let's go to the underlying layer. Let me first zoom a little bit. To see the result, let's pick the left arrow of the underlying layer and move it to the right. Do you see how the texture disappears on the dark areas? But it's very harsh. To make it smoother, just hold uh, out or option key and separate the arrow to make the transition smoother. I think it's good. Let's make the same with the whiter areas. This time with the right arrow to the left. And let's separate the arrow with holding out or option key. And I think it's good. Let's click OK. Now because of the fields of depth of the face, some part of the skin will be a little bit blurred 
because it's out of the focus. Now let's go to blur tool and let's blur that part of the face. Maybe here, here, here. Here on the neck and I think that's enough maybe a little bit here okay now we have texture on the face but also the same texture is on the background and we have to remove it from the background let's click on the mask and invert it with control command I pick the brush Choose a soft brush with white color, opacity 50 and 450 and just start painting only where we need that texture. Okay. We don't need a lot of texture on the ear, just a little bit. And I think we're ready. Let's zoom a little bit and see before and after. Of course, if the result is too much, you can just decrease a little bit the opacity. In our case, maybe 80 will be good enough. Let's see again before and after. I think it's perfect and looks way more natural. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.